Hello everyone. So now we are going to do one more scenario. So in the real company, you will see these types of scenario. What we will have, we will have one router. That router is connected to the ISP. Like you have one office in uh, like Hyderabad, another office in Bangalore. How we are connecting means we we will use the ISP. We will not use our cable. No one will allow us to dig the earth and put the new cable for from Hyderabad to Bangalore. Already ISP put the cable. They have the cable. They have the connection. Just we can take from the ISP. So what ISP is doing? We no need to worry about that one. Like you will take the virtual lease line or the what we can say layer two circuit, layer three circuit. Here ISP routers will be there in between, lot of routers. Just you will say ISP, I want to connect my head office to my branch office and ISP will give you the cable. You will connect the cable depending upon which connection we are using. They will ask you if we are using the MPLS layer three connection, they will give you the IP. They will ask you assign this IP and configure the OSPF or any protocol. If you are using the lease line, virtual lease line, they will just uh, layer to lease line. They will say it is like a switch, like a switch you have in in between only one switch, whatever IP you want to assign, assign here, whatever IP you want to assign here, you can assign any IP here means you should uh, assign the same network IP here and here in between. There is a lot of router, but we are using the layer two circuit virtual layer two circuit. So no need to worry. Example, if I am using 12.1 here, I will use the 12.2 and how this coming from Hyderabad to Bangalore. No need to worry for this one. This is the ISP headache. He will manage this one. It look like directly we are connected. It look like directly two routers are connected. After that, what we will do, we will have here the layer three switch here. Imagine you have VLAN 10, VLAN 20 in this office is VLAN 30, VLAN 40. So how we can make the communication from this VLAN to this VLAN, we need to look here. Let me explain again what I am saying. This is in head office. This is our head office. We can say it is in Hyderabad and we have one branch office in Bangalore and we want to connect them. So we told to ISP, there is a ISP network already present like Airtel or Geo or any ISP we will tell. So they will give you one cable. You will assign the cable here and which connection we are using depending upon that one. ISP will tell you example. If we take layer two circuit, layer two circuit means like a switch. You have switch in between. You are connecting directly. So whatever IP you assign here, same network IP you will assign here. No need to worry in between what uh, routers or what we have here. That is ISP headache. So in between you will have lot of routers, lot of connection, but no need to do anything with our network. Just we will assign our IP here like uh, 192.162.12.1 here will be 12.2. We will enable OSPF here. We will enable OSPF here and whatever our LAN network, we will enable OSPF there. That's all to connect the branches. ISP will do here MPLS, VPLS. They will use the different technology to make the communication. They will charge us and we will pay for them. Just we will get the connection and branches will be connected. So now what we will do here, this is a small scenario. We can say our head office is connecting with the branch office with multiple VLAN. So how we can work. So let me show you here. First of all, I will give example. Our head office is, is R1 and the branch office is R2. We have here R2 and this is layer three switch. We can say here I can give switch one for head office. We have switch two in the branch office. Switch to in the branch office. And after that, what we can say, we will have the VLANs. So here I will take, we can have some more switch also. Like that, we can have one more switch. And then after that, we can have some computer. Now I will take only two VLAN. Two VLAN this side, two VLAN that side. You can use more also now just for this simple example, we will take like this. So here if you see. This is our network. You can imagine this is our network. What we are doing here means we have the switch 
and we will have the VLAN and we will have the inter VLAN work here then we need to have OSPF to connect this one so in this scenario this is a 12.1 in between these two router and here to here I can use like 192.168.1.1 here to connect from here to here and here I will use 192.168.2.1 now which VLAN what VLAN we are using depending upon that one we will have the IP so what I will do here let me take some VLAN I will take imagine this are in the some VLAN I will select different color here these are some different VLAN we can take these are some different VLAN and we will take here maybe we can take this color for different VLAN so now we need to make the communication between all the VLAN all this VLAN so what we will do here I can say this is a VLAN 10 we can say VLAN 10 IP what we will use we will use 192.168.10.1 as a gateway so this 10.1 will be gateway for all this computer so IP we can start 10.2 10.3 for this computer and for this one we will use as a VLAN 20 and IP will be 192.168.20.192.168 20.1 gateway for this one and this we can say this is a VLAN 30 and the IP schema here 192.168.30.1 will be the gateway after that we have VLAN 40 here we can use 192.168.40.1 so these are the IP schema what we are going to use so in this scenario if you see first of all here I will just put the label what IP we are going to use here like 10.2 for this computer I will assign the IP address to the computer here we will go and now gateway we need to put as we told gateway will be 10.1 so this will be the gateway for all the computer and this is another computer here we will have 10.3 we will assign the IP and here let me assign 10.3 gateway will be 10.1 as I told here same thing here we will do 192.168.20.2 gateway will be 20.1 so here I will put 20.2 and gateway will be 20.1 and for this computer also like this 20.3 let me correct here 20.3 and I will assign here 20.1 here I will write 192.168.30.2 this is just label now I am going to assign the IP any confusion here nothing right here will be 30.3 this we will assign to this machine later we will do the DSCP server so we are going to get the IP from the DSCP server here if you see we have 40.2 this is a label we are going to assign here 40.2 and here I will put 40.1 this will be 40.3 any confusion nothing right now we have the configuration so let me take the notepad here I can give the name mini project first what I will do R1 configuration enable config T host name R1 interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 IP address 192.168.12.1255.255.255.0 and we will write no shirt here then interface fast ethernet 0 by 1 IP address whatever the IP we are planning to give here like we told we will give 1.12